If you were a student, chances are you're watching this from home. School buildings have been closed in all 50 American states and five American territories, though many schools are still in session online. In at least 45 states, plus the District of Columbia, students won't be returning to campus at all for the rest of this academic year. That might wind up being the case across the entire country, though a few states may give schools the option of reopening before summer break. Students, teachers, administrators, and parents have made sacrifices to keep the learning going. They've missed out on plays, presentations, proms, graduations, sports, science fairs, book fairs, all sorts of trips and competitions. Adding to this challenge is the summer learning loss, also known as the summer setback or the summer slide. It's a time when students forget some of what they've learned during the school year, and it's expected to be worse because of coronavirus shutdowns. Some of the measures being considered to allow workplaces to open again have been seen by BBC News, and they include strict rules to protect the health of staff while at work. There's no date set for relaxing the lockdown, but the pressure is growing, given that more than six million British workers have now been furloughed, with the government paying their wages. The Prime Minister is expected to give more guidance this coming Sunday on relaxing the lockdown in some form. Now, the measures include staggering the start times for employees to avoid crowding in and around the workplace. Staff will be helped to maintain the two-metre social distancing rule where possible, but it's not clear how they'll be protected if it's not possible. And there'll be regular cleaning and disinfecting for workspaces and surfaces. The guidance comes as the government announced today the deaths of another 288 people who tested positive for coronavirus, and that brings the total number of these deaths in the UK so far to 28,734. This is AP News Minute. A White House memo sent to congressional committees is restricting testimony from the Coronavirus Task Force. The memo says task force members can only testify before Congress if the White House Chief of Staff lets them. Governor Gavin Newsom says some California businesses can start reopening this week. He says retailers that sell items like clothing, books, and toys can be open for pickup. Montana is one of the states that is letting restaurants reopen. Regulations include crowd limits, increased sanitation, and servers wearing masks. Insect experts are making plans to wipe out the Asian giant hornet. The bug has been found in Washington state, its first sighting in the U.S. Hornet sting can be fatal to some humans. Ed Donahue, The Associated Press, with AP Newsman.